Hello again and welcome to another dish to Sedgwick Country. Hi, I'm Herb Sedgwick and welcome to the show, my friends. Elizabeth, welcome to the show. Happy holidays, Herb. Thanks Thank for having me it's, again. It's Christmas again. I Seems know. like it was last year we were just doing Christmas shows. We're at the Railroad Museum of Pennsylvania. David is here. Welcome to the show, my friends. Hello, Herb. Uh, I'm the executive director of the Railroad Museum of Pennsylvania and welcome. We are in Strasburg, Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, and we are one of the world's foremost museums uh, of railroad heritage in the United States. What can people see here? We have a very large collection of locomotives and uh, passenger and freight rail cars, and uh, many of them are open for people to come in and look through them. Uh, they can learn about the earliest days of railroading in the 1830s. Uh, they can go all the way up through the 19th century as locomotives and rail cars got larger mm -hmm. and into the 20th century with the sleek uh, streamliners and the diesel electrics then of the modern era. Wow. Elizabeth? Herb, we also have Mike. Mike, it seems like you play a big part here as well. Tell us what you do. I don't know if it's a big part. I'm a volunteer here at the museum, and uh, I come out several times a year, and, and I provide them with the, the running train for the people to ride with different exhibits on it, whether it be for Christmas or a troop display or whatnot. But uh, I guess the bigger role that I play is I'm the museum's rigger and transporter. I'm responsible when the museum wants to acquire a new piece for the collection. My company goes out and uh, will rig it and bring it in here and uh, transport it and do what's necessary to help preserve this great stuff for the generations of the future to see. It's, it's absolutely amazing what I see here. Oh, it's a great place. I just love it. So tell me, are you going to be able to get Herb and I on that little train? Oh, absolutely. We can take care of it. Uh, we've got a great engineer, and we might even have a surprise for you on that train. I love Ooh, surprises. Oh, I love surprises, especially when Elizabeth is involved. <laughs> We're in the Railroad Museum of Pennsylvania in Strasburg, Pennsylvania, where we have canes and trains and all kinds of wonderful things to do for the children. Michael. Um, Emmett, wh what fun things are there here to do? Wow, Michael, there's tons of fun things to do here in the Railroad Museum of Pennsylvania. We've got trains, there's a Christmas tree, there's me, Emmett the Elf, and of course, Santa. <laughs> Ho, ho, ho. Not bad for your first try, Michael. <laughs> and Andrew, I think, has a question for you, Emmett. Do you have any trains? Do oh. we have any trains? Look around! There's trains everywhere! In fact, there goes one right behind you! Does that answer your question for you? You don't know? Okay, good try. <laughs> Emmett, thank you very much for being here, You're entertaining welcome. us this afternoon. Well, Elizabeth, it looks like we're on Santa's train. Yeah, there's lots of people here. I see Santa. I see Santa, too, and I see an elf behind me. And uh, Mrs. Ms. Claus. Oh, that's Mrs. Claus? I have to introduce myself to her. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Who else is on? And we've got lots of kids here. We have one right here. What's your name? Mandy. And what's your name? Austin. And your name? Carly. Wow, those are the only three kids I could reach. Okay, and there's one behind me. What's your name? Lauren. Okay, we got more. a lot of kids. All going where? Where are we going on the train? Uh, on the bridge. <laughs> on the bridge. Let's see okay. if there's a bridge ahead. <laughs> okay. Let's go. All aboard. All aboard. Well, Dave, we're here in a very impressive part of the museum. Educational is the word? Yes, this is Stewart Junction, which is the Railroad Museum's Railway Education Center. And we use it to do a lot of training of uh, kids anywhere from 8 to 88 on how railroads operated and how different technology changed over the years in railroad steam engines and then also into the diesel electric era. I saw a Lego demo uh, exhibit down there. That's quite impressive. We have a lot of our demonstrations here that are very immersive. In other words, the children can come and actually do hands-on work. They can build a bridge, they can build a locomotive, they can put all these things together and then make them operate on the layouts that are here. Amazing. It gives uh, the parents a lot to, to work with them, too. It's fun to watch the parents and the kids work together on building something. A lot of times the children will come up with the solutions before the adults will. But uh, it's a great place uh, to bring your children to learn about railroading and railroading history. 
How long did it take to put this all some of these displays together, roughly? This exhibit was built in 2000 and dedicated by Governor Ridge that year. And uh, it took about uh, two years to actually do all the planning and the construction for this particular building, which was funded by the North American Railway Foundation. Amazing. It's, I'm, uh, I'm impressed. It's certainly a place uh, that people do enjoy. Well, the trains dropped us off at Steinman Station, and we've all come in to get a little warm. Elf, tell us about some of the things around here. Well, there's lots of snow, there's lots of horse and buggies, and of course, lots of trains to ride for all the little girls and boys. Santa, question for you. For the most part, how have the children been this year? They've been very good, very good, and they're all, I hope they all get what they want for Christmas. And Santa, have you been keeping tabs on me? Yes, ma'am, I have. I have a list on you. And how are things looking? Uh, it's getting looking, looking grim. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to work on Santa in my uh, Christmas list. You having fun, Pauline? <laughs> I'm having fun, Herb, on this pump car. Oh boy, Eric, <laughs> how old is this car we're using? Well, this one's actually only, I, I believe, about 10 years or so old. Um, this is actually a uh, replica, but uh, we do have an original that's probably around 100 years old. This, this is based on, you know, an original design but the actual car itself is a, a newer replica. Um, and they would be used for track maintenance, track maintenance and inspection. They're basically the forerunner of, uh, later on they had motorized cars similar in size to this, and then nowadays they have uh, what are known as high rail vehicles, which actually are, are trucks that have uh, railroad wheels that drop down, and uh, they'll, they'll use those for maintenance away uh, in today's world. But 100 years ago, 125 years ago, this is what they used when they had to go out and inspect the track. Pauline, exercise, huh? I know. What a workout. What a wonderful time here at uh, Strasburg Railroad. Railroad. There yes. you go. I'll tell you what, maybe we'll take another spin. Well, my friends, we're wrapping up this Christmas edition of Sets and Country. Pauline, thanks for being on the show. Herb, thank you very much. It was a pleasure as always. And you know what, Herb? I'm thinking about climbing aboard this train behind me because it has a lot of goodies on it. And Mike, we want to thank you for being such a gracious host, showing us around. We had a great time. Pleasure is mine, and miracles can happen here at Christmas. I mean, Santa's Paradise Express brings you in and took Elizabeth back to the North Pole. So uh, come back and see us again soon, huh? So that's where yeah, she went. Yeah. <laughs> ah, very good. We were wondering the what The magic happened. of Christmas here at <laughs> the Strasburg. Thank you very much, sir, You're for welcome. being on the show. You're welcome. Thank you. Appreciate Pleasure it. Pleasure was mine. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Thank you. And Merry Christmas. Oh, and Merry, Merry Christmas to everybody. Merry Christmas. Bye-bye. <laughs>